Hey there. Welcome to Death Noggin. And then the Joker said, We live in a society. Ooh. Oh, don't freak out, Triangle Bob. I'm, sh I'm sure Gaga will help Joker live a healthy and fulfilling life. Now, what should our next scary story be about? Oh, zombies, huh? Okay. Well, monsters rising from the dead is definitely scary, but have you ever heard of real-life resurrections? Like the chilling tale of Anna Bagenholm. In 1999, Anna was skiing in the Jolin Mountains. Suddenly, she lost control and began sliding down the hill, falling headfirst into a frozen stream, and getting stuck halfway through the icy surface. Luckily, she found a pocket of air under the ice so she could breathe, but she remained stuck in the icy water for 80 minutes. When help arrived, her body temperature was a record low of 13.7 degrees Celsius. She was unconscious, wasn't breathing, and didn't have a heartbeat, which made her clinically dead. Doctors went to work warming her up, and eventually her heart started beating again. After a few days, she woke up, and after a year, she was able to walk again. Oddly enough, being frozen alive is what saved her. The cold temperatures slowed down her metabolism, so her brain didn't need as much oxygen to survive. Nowadays, this is known as therapeutic hypothermia, and doctors actually do this on purpose to improve their unconscious patient's neurological outcomes. Huh. Not scary enough for Sir Clea, I guess. Um, okay, less science, more scary. Got it. Um, let's see. How, how about the heart-stopping history of Velma Thomas? Velma was at home when she had a heart attack. She was rushed to the hospital where she had two more heart attacks and her heart stopped. Doctors tried everything to revive her, including inducing therapeutic hypothermia, but nothing worked. And after 17 hours without brain activity, her family said their goodbyes. But just 10 minutes after she was taken off life support and her breathing tube was removed, she began breathing on her own. Eventually, she fully recovered. A heart spontaneously restarting after failed medical attempts is incredibly rare, but it's happened before. In fact, it's known as Lazarus Syndrome, named after a guy in the Bible who was brought back to life by Jesus. In these cases, scientists think it's caused by a buildup of pressure in the chest from those failed CPR attempts. While they don't know for sure, they hypothesize that the pressure is released, causing the heat to expand and making it start beating again. Hey, where did Greed go? Tri Triangle Bob, are you playing your block tendo system? Okay, all right, I guess I need something way more scary. Oh, this one will get you wetting your pixel coating. The Legend of Essie Dunbar. After suffering an epileptic seizure, Essie stopped breathing and her heart stopped beating. Since it was 1915, that was enough for a physician to declare Essie dead. The next day after her funeral service, her coffin was laid in a grave and covered with dirt. Just then, her sister arrived and asked that Essie be dug up so that she could say her final farewell. Upon opening the coffin, legend has it that Essie sat up smiling. This horrified her family and funeral guests who all ran away screaming. Essie went on to live almost another 50 years, dying in 1962 for the final time. So what do you think about that one, guys? Guys? Uh, well, I guess they went off trick-or-treating or something. I got too excited about science again. So what's your favorite scary movie? Let me know in the comments, or tell me, what should I yap about next? Subscribe to Life Noggin if you want more fun science videos. Click here to watch this video we did on when you're declared 100 hundred percent dead or click here to watch this video as always my name is blocko this has been death noggin don't forget to keep on thinking